I, I, how, how many, I mean, how many times can we do this? How many times can we, you know what? I'll tell you how many times. Just as many times as we need to, because I am here for the people. And if you don't like that, you can, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You know that scene from Batman where it's like, Joker's like, ah, I really, I really like this job. I like this job. I like it. I really, I really like this job. That's how I feel. So thank you guys so much for your support on these videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The vast majority of you guys watching are not subscribed. And we're here to cover YouTube golf. So if you like YouTube golf, you, you got to subscribe. It's just, it's how it is. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here. We're back. I had a great little week. Kind of, I talked about it in the last video, but uh, my mom was in town. You know, it was my birthday. We traveled a little bit, I played some golf. It was great, but now I'm back and I'm charged. I'm ready to go in YouTube golf. And we're gonna talk about a lot of things, including Luke Kwan, holy. A couple quick YouTube golf highlights, news, topics, things that also need discussing because it's been a little bit of time. Some things have happened. So number one, put off my head. Grant Horvath has released a new video they invented a new challenge the musical tease challenge the musical tease golf challenge on grand horvath golf now two thoughts on this number one grand horvath is the mr beast of youtube golf grand horvath is the kingpin of youtube golf and it's not even close anymore and i don't think anyone can really argue that i mean obviously i'm talking about individual creators not so much groups because bob does sports and good good are still larger but they're groups and it's different but as far as like individual channel uploads Grand Horvath is just running the show right now. His view counts are absolutely insane. Every video he puts out is an absolute banger. And he takes a new concept to light, which is cool. And it's great. And he's doing something that for sure is going to get numbies. I mean, the video, as I checked it in like less than 24 hours or just about 24 hours, was at like 250,000 views, which it's going to go up and up and up from there, which is great. <laughs> so it's good he's got a video out it's a cool concept it's new i'm sure a lot of people like it it's just funny and you can't help i love grant me and grant are boys that's great but it is six people in a group with grant horvath and micah announcing a new golf challenge and it, it, it's just it is funny it's just funny and you know i think it's proof in the pudding that what good good is doing and has been doing is really like the ultimate recipe for success still at this current moment is having this multiple cast of characters because i think grant knows this thing all solo creators know this if all they did like i think rick shields was pretty much the only one that could get away with like only uploading break 75 videos and still pulling like half a million views like he's been doing this for so long that people really do respect and want to see him play golf despite what all the negative comments can say when he's not playing well People want to watch him play courses and are interested in that. He could probably upload break 75 videos every Friday till the day he dies and pull a bunch of views. But aside from him, I don't think any other creators, including Grant, have that luxury. I think if Grant only uploaded solo stroke play content every time him playing 18 holes, there would obviously be a decline. I think part of the reason why Grant is the biggest individual creator right now is because he doesn't do it. It's because every single video is different from the last and he has unique ideas and he's always pushing the envelope and that truly is what it takes. So that's great, but it's just, it's it's this concept that you can't beat of all this cast of characters, these multiple people in the videos. Like that's what popped good, good off. Because before that, it was like you'd get a collaboration of like two creators. But now you have six. You have six personalities that are different, that are interesting, that are, you know, you can relate to different people in that, whether maybe you're a bit of a better golfer and you can relate to like Garrett, or if you're, you know, a bit more of a weekend golfer and you can relate to like Steve or Bobby or whatever. Like there's something in there for everyone. And although this new six doesn't quite have the same relatability factor, there's definitely a high entertainment factor with them. And it just shows every time those guys put out videos together, they are some of the best performing videos on all of their individual channels, including Grant, who's already pulling the most views basically possible as a solo creator. So it is cool to see. It's just funny because obviously they left and now they have their own thing. But again, I've said this before, it's kind of like a buccaneering thing, which is cool. They're evolving on it. Like it's not the exact same thing as good, good. Like yes, it's six people. Yes, it has two of the original members in it, but it's, a, it is a different value prop. It's less, I mean, this musical tease one is definitely pushing the envelope of like really feeling like a good, good video, but traditionally their videos are more golf related and less challenge related. Very interesting that he put out this video, very interesting concept. It's great, I love to see it. It's just funny and you can't help but see how funny it is. Okay, bridging back to good, good really quick. I know we talked about this in the last video, so I'll keep this one brief, but I just can't get over the handicap video. Like good, wait, oh, right there, that's ironic timing. Good Good has absolutely hit this one out of the park. Nearly a million views on this video already, which in the last you know year has been 
basically reserved for like massive massive collaborations like outside of platform collaborations and like their spectacular like tbc sawgrass which is basically a, a big collaboration but this is crazy this is all because of an incredibly inventive unique never been done before idea that is so intrinsically interesting that even if you're not a fan of good good you want to watch that video so i just want to give flowers to that idea specifically because it's just cool it's been a long time since i've got this excited about an idea from any youtube off creator it's a really cool one so congrats to whoever came out i don't want to necessarily just say it was calling a max because i'm sure maybe there's insight from other people but calling a max deserve hell of flowers for this one if in fact they were the brains behind it so or whoever it was but anyway the whole team over at good 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 freaking job I, do, I love the video it's awesome okay next thing really quick wet's in the bag wesley george big announcement after like a decade plus with callaway they have switched over to 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 como to como to como irons now I know it's not breaking news. They obviously announced it on their Instagram, but they posted the YouTube video recently. They went through a full what's in the bag. Listen, you want to talk about freight trains. Brian Bros is a freight train. Brian Bros in the last year has gone from, I think like 150,000 subscribers to where they are now. Absolutely incredible. And they are just, they feel like an auto click at this point. Like every time they upload a video, I'm just going to click on it. I'm just going to watch it. And I know it's going to be like chill enough that like whatever mood I'm in, I can watch it. And I don't know, personally, just like their value prop for me is really cool. Like. I strive to play the best golf possible. And so watching them, two of the best YouTube golfers, and then like the way they just still have like banter or whatever. I just love those guys to death. This video was really neat, seeing how they still break up their bags because although they're sponsored by Tacomo, Tacomo, I feel like I always say that wrong. It's not a 14 club deal, evidently, because they have different clubs throughout the bag. The Wesley still has SM10 wedges, SM10 Volky wedges, and George still has Callaway Jaws wedges. And then they have woods that are not Tacomo. So, Although I think Buster Jack is probably like a 13 club deal because they still have their lab golf putters. I'm pretty sure they use the Tacoma wedges and woods. These guys look to be just in the irons, which is like, I think as a player, that's probably the best way to do it. Like if you sign, unless you're signing with like either Callaway or TaylorMade, but even then, like, I don't know. I feel like every year a certain manufacturer kind of jumps ahead with like slight improvements with the driver and you see players like, I mean, Wyndham Clark's a good example. Like he had a QI 10 three wood in his bag. I'm pretty sure he's primarily a Titleist player but he probably has flexibility in a couple key clubs and i feel like the woods are those clubs the woods and the wedges are those clubs where you kind of want to have that. i mean scotty scheffler still plays bulky wedges even though he's like fully a tailor-made athlete i think for every other club in the bag except for that so anyways very interesting to see i'm happy for those guys they're a mainstay in youtube golf and i can't wait to see what they do next all right topic of conversation why you guys clicked on this video luke kwan is he gone i don't know how many of these i'm gonna have to make but i'll tell you what i'm just gonna keep making them because Number one, that's all you guys comment about. Every time Luke Kwan is absent from any amount of golf content on Good Good, it's nothing but DMs and comments about is he gone. Number two, the videos do absolute numbies. Luke Kwan is just the man right now in YouTube golf and people want to hear, is he staying, is he going? And it's just, it's, if you guys keep wanting to hear about it, I'm gonna keep talking about it. That's what I do, that's my job. So there it is. Number three, it is sort of evident that the last three videos Good Good has uploaded, no Luke Kwan. Luke Kwan, gone. No Luke Kwan in these videos. Well. The explanation that I can give that as far as I'm aware, these videos, you got to remember, Good Good's videos are all shot with a lag. So like they don't shoot these videos and then upload them three days later, like some creators. Most creators, the bigger ones don't do that. They also have a bit of lag, but some of the smaller ones and even some of the bigger ones, they can have more quick pushed uploads. But Good Good is such a machine now and they have, I mean, videos where number one, they have like six different players playing golf. That means like six different shot tracers for every shot on every hole which could be up to like five six shots a hole plus you're probably playing nine to 18 holes and all these challenges and so like the editing whatever there's lifetime in their uploads and so if you're seeing a good good video today that's uploaded it was probably it's probably safe to assume that it was shot a month ago a month and a half ago something like that so luke kwan not in these three videos well he's had two big things recently he obviously was down in new zealand travel trip that would have taken him out of good good filming and he also had the queue at myrtle beach to which he was the only member of good good to go so that qualifier in myrtle beach had him down there for a week then he did some collaborative stuff with sean and barstool so the explanation i mean it's you see it in their comments it, it seems pretty cut and dry he's just not been around so as far as i'm aware there is no reason to believe that luke kwan has officially or is officially leaving good good in any capacity but don't get me wrong this is a story we're following closely because every time i talk about this there's a billion people in the comments and i get a lot of funky messages being like not so fast not so fast not so fast so you know we'll see we'll see we'll see what the future holds we'll see what's coming down the pipeline but at this current moment luke kwan is gone from these videos but he's not gone from good good overall
that's the news. Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I said welcome back. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I love this job.